In this video, we will talk about the definitions of decision limit and detection capability and how they differ from the definition of limit of detection. So CC alpha and CC beta uh, are a little bit better from limit of detection uh, because uh, some of the ambiguity that is present in, in limit of detection is taken away. Uh, in limit of detection, the false positive and false negative results are really not taken into account in any way. And so therefore the reliability of the results is confusing or ambiguous. In CC alpha, CC beta, this problem does not occur. So let's look at uh, what are really false positive and false negative results. So at first, let's imagine we have a sample that's truly positive and we receive from the analysis a positive result. So everything is okay. However, if the sample is truly negative, but we receive a positive result, then we have a false positive. Now, on the other hand, if we have a truly positive result, but we receive a negative result, then uh, we have a false negative. And if we have a negative, truly negative sample, but a negative uh, result, then everything is okay again. So when we are interpreting analysis results with limit of detection, then there's always the possibility of making these errors. So we have to take them into account. And actually the likelihood of doing these errors is the reliability of the interpretation. So let's look at the definitions more precisely. So decision limit is the analyte concentration level above which we can state that the, the signal is caused only by the noise uh, with a probability below alpha. So alpha is uh, usually defined as a low percentage, like 5 or 1 percent. This means that uh, if we have this limit, uh, then above this we can be quite sure that the signal that we receive is caused by the analyte and not by the noise. On the other hand, detection capability is the analyte concentration level in a sample above which there's uh, less than beta probability that the result will be mm, below CC alpha. Again, beta is defined as a small uh, percentage, 5 or 1 percent. And as we interpret uh, the results below CC alpha as negative, then here actually we take into account the possibility of false negative results. Now these definitions are somewhat confusing. So let's look at a, also a graphical explanation. Let's uh, first review the distribution of measurement results and how, how the measurement results usually distribute. So we have a measured intensity value scale and we have a sample with a mean uh, intensity value in this scale. So every time we make a measurement, its uh, value uh, so, uh, varies from the mean and we get this kind of a distribution so that most of the values fall somewhere close to the mean, but some values can be quite far from the mean. From here, uh, because we assume that we know the uh, shape of the distribution, we can calculate this kind of um, critical limit uh, above which we know that there's 5% of the analysis results will fall above this and below it will be 95% of the analysis results. So using this, we can now look again at uh, the decision limit and detection capability. We have a same scale. However, this time uh, we have a blank sample here. So, 
and uh, and we, we can uh, do the measurements of, with a blank sample and we receive uh, dis distribution because blank sample does not contain the analyte then this is actually the distribution of noise. We can also find this critical limit for it and now this probability of uh, receiving results above this critical limit is alpha as defined in decision limit. So actually above this critical limit it's very probable that uh, the signal is caused by analyte and not just by noise. So this limit is called uh, the decision limit. Now we can look at another uh, or find another distribution that has a, a beta probability of receiving results below CC alpha, although the mean value is above CC alpha. And this limit is defined then as the detection capability. And here we take into account the false negative uh, results. Now, the definitions uh, state that the CC alpha and CC beta are concentrations. However, here we talk about the intensity values. So uh, we can use a calibration function to actually estimate the corresponding concentration values for uh, the decision limit and detection capability that we can find in the intensity scale. In the following videos, we will further talk about how to estimate decision limit and the de detection capability and how to interpret the analysis results with them.